all right what's up guys this is simply now here and uh this is my Li Ming video um Li Ming is like my most played character so far on this account and um as you guys can see her win rate is super low uh for me um this is because uh Li Ming is a tame dependent character um uh, she's like you can't you can't really get camps with her um apart from like siege camp you can't really get like bruisers and stuff like that if, um unless you take like a shield at level 16 or something like that but um she's a really really burst heavy character um if you are with a good team like Limin can be like extremely powerful um she can bring a lot to the table like she can wipe an entire team and she's just really really strong um if you have a good team now I'm gonna make a video, uh, this video about her build. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, find a Li Ming build. I mean, uh, I'm gonna write in gas loads to curve. I wonder if I should. All right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna watch this one. All right, so that's how I was saying. Um, Li Mi is a very very strong character, but she's a team dependent character and this build um, That I'm gonna be showing you guys. It's a very very strong build. This is the best build for Li Mi um, The rest of the other builds are kind of like extremely risky um, For no reason in a sense um, like if you were building if you were let me just say it straightly this build is an orb um, laser build and uh other builds are like are like dashes, uh, pretty much like you you make your dashes really strong uh, by taking that three hundred damage uh, buff when you dash onto somebody dash towards somebody location you do like three hundred something damage to them and stuff like that. But uh, I'm not gonna talk about that build because that build is like extremely risky and you could get stunned and killed. Um, it gives you shield like you can take a shield with it like. It requires you to pick certain talents like that's the that's what I'm talking about um, and you have to take those talents in order to make that build work um, with the or build like you can mix it you can mix it up sometimes and stuff like that and it will still work um, so anyways this build though with Li Ming is the ultimate of ultimate build and uh, that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys all right so Let's go to uh, option, go to sound here. I'm gonna lower this a little bit. Um, this here is one of those matches that kind of lingers uh, because you want to end, but the enemy is not allowing you to end and you don't know how else to end. And your teammates are like just freaking out because they want to end so bad. And you, you are actually like freaking out yourself because you, you feel like you can end but if you just mess up just a little bit, you're going to lose the match. And uh, that's that's how this match is going to be. So I'm going against Tracer. Tracer is a little bit of a counter to uh, Li Ming. And uh, like every character is in here, that there are counters to it. And when you are playing Li Ming, the most important thing is positioning. Uh, where am I? There I am. I think I went AFK for a little bit. Like I was streaming, I think doing this time. Um, so I want to like check chats and stuff Anyways, that's me right here So with Li Ming guys like when you are playing her the most important thing is positioning as I was saying um, You want to position yourself in a way that your orbs can hit and uh, Get a lot of value out of it, right? You see that like right there, right that that's what I'm talking about so when you are playing Li Ming um, you want to play her as an AOE damage like a lot of a lot of Liming player like targets one person Right when I'm talking about positioning I want you to like position yourself in a way that when you send your orbs out It will hit more than one person and also when you send your orb out You want to have like a little bit of distance because the orbs actually expand as they go out So when you have a little bit of distance in there the deep the DPS output from the orb is going to increase and the amount of people you're going to hit is going to increase. So that's what I'm talking about when I say uh, positioning is important. All right, so that's me right there. Um, the first talent I took 
is uh, let's see is the dash right this dash here is the uh, best of all the talents to take a level one um, this year Limi is a mana heavy uh, mana dependent character she's a mage and uh, most mages are mana dependent so you don't want to be running out of mana for like no reason uh, even though Limi is one of those characters that like she's almost always out of mana for like no reason pretty much um, so you want to be able to like use your missiles and uh, with this build you'll be able to use your miso like almost every other second uh, because it doesn't cost that much mana and uh, if you are dashing like you won't be worried that like you're gonna lose like a huge portion of your mana right so this is all about mana mitigation like cooldowns and like just ditching out a lot of damage and uh, saving your mana for like the important skills um, on your skill bar right so with the uh, dashing like uh, mana usage redu uh, reduced or removed perman permanently uh, with the ability you can actually focus on using other stuff and saving your mana up for those other stuff uh, so let's do this all right so it's 52 seconds now whatever 50 ish is going to like one minute and as you guys can see everybody are going into their lane and stuff and uh i'm telling my allies that we got a lane right gaslo get a cam or something like that and i'm gonna go into his lane uh into the bruiser lane here to soak for him as he get it camps and uh i'm going against a mafia here which is uh, pretty much like he he can soak pretty fast but you know it's kind of like an even matchup because i do a lot of damage and stuff like that so yeah in the bottom here we have a nazibo uh i think she's trying to like do some damage to our uh, to our towers here hold up Oh, she's on my team, actually. Anyway, if you're a Nazebo player, you want to be doing some damage to the enemy towers. I think she actually did that early on, if you can. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to grab this SP real quick, mount up for a little bit of movement speed. And, like, doing team fights, you want to mount up um, a little bit so that you can move faster and position yourself. And as you guys can see, I try to find an angle where I can hit all of those minions and stuff. And I, I'm doing dashes here because when I dash, the passive stuff from my ability is that every time I dash, my missiles do extra damage. Um, where is it? Uh, anyways, it, it doesn't show it here. But anyways, um, it's, in the, it's in the talent though. It says that anytime you dash, you get extra... Uh, you get extra thingy whatsoever extra damage from your missiles guys look at this cam objective is about to spawn nazibo is still playing around here with the uh vala and uh kind of baited this guy a little bit but he, he he had a gang coming for me um so <laughs> I play safe though. Like every time I'm soaking, I always like you see. I'm always checking these bushes. I'm always poking around, making sure that as a ranged character, I'm not like closer to like somebody who can damage me, right? I'm playing safe. I'm poking and stuff like that. So I'm trying to hit back line. Uh, Why they deal with the stitches here? And I'm trying to find a squish and like burst them out and stuff like that. And all this time I'm like playing safe. I'm putting myself in a safe location, doing some damage, just poking and doing stuff like that. As you guys can see, I'm dashing most of the time so that I can use my missile and do some extra damage with it. And I'm hiding myself in brushes, like poking them, just trying to do as much damage as I can be a little bit of a distraction to them and stuff like that and this this fight is gonna last for a little while because like these guys would keep poking at us and uh, eventually we're gonna get this anyways in the meantime though i'm trying to do damage to these guys he's hitting our stretchers and stuff and Gaslow came back to his lane i'm telling him to retreat and stuff like that 
and stitches mixes the hook Morad is up here it's time to like squid up and stuff like that so I'm on the back here and I'm telling my allies to go back to that lane and this this match like I'm always trying to communicate like every time I solo queue like people like get annoyed by me whatsoever but I always try to communicate I always try to tell them what to do because most of the time when I'm in solo queue I'm pretty I'm playing with like AIs and stuff and they have no idea what to do with the uh in a match and look at that AoE damage insane burst coming out there from my orb we have a pretty strong team though we have a Gaslow we have a Stukov and we they have tracer they have two physical damage dps and uh, they have uh Marlis here with a uh, stem out which is pretty strong and uh yeah and my fire i think you can heal off of the, like the taurus from gaslow so they have a strong comps too uh strong comp and uh i think they're gonna cap this i told them to give and yeah been six minutes now and we are still doing normal stuff we haven't hit level level uh 10 yet so things haven't started to get like intense and as for now like what we're trying to do is just soak that's the most important thing you got to be doing around this time nazibo got caught here by a gang she gonna get killed oh morada and escapes oh no he got killed yeah um, Valera is pretty OP. I mean, uh, Vala is pretty OP with that arrow bill. And, uh, yeah. And at this point, like, after, after my, like, my tank died, I knew we were going to pretty much lose this. So I'm kind of, like, going off to do something else, something useful. Um, instead of hanging around here to get ganked as well. And, like, right, I'm telling my allies to give and stuff. And as you guys can see here, I'm poking. Like, this is one of the most important things about playing Ling Mei. Like, you can do this and get away get away with it. Uh, playing people like Probius and stuff. Like, you can do this and get away with it. Alright, I'm, I'm destroying that structure. I don't need minions and whatsoever. And I'm just using my Miso and my passive ability from that jumping ability. And, uh, yeah, I'm doing a lot of damage here. yeah i'm gonna do this like this cheesy stuff i'm gonna do this until i like take out this entire, entire structure and yeah somebody have to come here if they don't come here i'm gonna take this out <laughs> they got a camp though a siege camp and it's coming up here and uh yeah there goes two towers and three towers for me objective is about to come up uh what do i do right now instead of tapping the well i actually go for a half um i'll be able to get back in like uh five or ten seconds um to my allies and yeah and i don't have to get there completely because i'm a range character like i don't get there completely i stay away and i'm still able to start doing damage and my allies are gonna get picked out here with the uh buffed Valera right here. I mean Vala here. Gaslo misses his ult. And oh look at that guys. It's a spam. Like most most uh most mages has like spams, uh spam characters. And like you have to be fast, like you have to like click really fast and just run away, right? When you play most mages. And uh, that's what I just did there with the uh, with the uh, stitches there. And you have to, if you are good at this, like you can get kills a lot, and you can like pick people off really fast. With um, and it'll be like super shocking because they they want to like expect you to do like so much damage to them like in, in like such a small time, right? So that was some really really quick stuff um, that I did there and. Yeah, that was crazy. And I'm going to be doing a lot of that with Lei Ming, especially. Uh, so, like anybody else who is going to be playing Lei Ming, that's why they should be that is why they should be doing. They should be doing that pretty fast. Uh, spam, spam, type of stuff. And, oh, God, what just happened here? 
Oh, Lordy. Jesus Christ. One of those four is a little bit to see what happens. Yeah, anyways, got that kill there. And this is objective, I think, number two. I mean, one, two, three. This is the fourth objective. And I'm waiting for my allies. And I'm just poking here. And with Lemin, you can do stuff like this, like find these angles. That's one of the thing about playing a Lemin. Like a good Lemin will like find angles. A good Lemin will like try to like keep a mana up and stuff like that. And like, this is how you get it most value out of Lemin. That one, that is one of my videos that I just went out. That video is for uh, solo queue and like elo hell and stuff like that. Uh, my fire just got erased. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to cap this. Stitches almost pull me there. You got like cut into the all from the gas loader. I'm gonna grab this objective and I'm off. And these guys are doing, gonna do that air ram. Uh, they should be landing by now, but you know, there are four people here and four people here, so it's okay. Nobody is getting any value in this lane. Uh, there's a lot of blue SP though, like they didn't take it. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna push this wave in and back off and mount up and like just wait around. And I'm spamming this. I just wanted to let this Morales know that I was here. I wasn't gonna kill her, obviously, but you know. Just want to do something to her. Gazlo here gets the siege camp. Azibo in the bottom of like two people against her. There's a gang coming here for me. And there was a hook coming up and uh, I dodged that stuff. It was a pretty noticeable hook. Uh, expected stuff. So, yeah. I think my allies here to get this tribute. Um, just because like I knew these guys were gonna be here first and there was gonna be a gang and we were not gonna get this uh, look at Nas health she's like super low and it just it wasn't gonna work out so I pinged them to get this boss and when they when these guys get the objective the tribute there are two things they have to do now they have to decide if they're gonna push and let the boss actually push itself and get like a fort or something, or they're gonna have to uh, come and clean the, board, the boss and then continue pushing. So before they do that, before they make that decision and all that stuff in this solo queue, um, that will like take some time away from the objective that they just captured. And yeah, so they decided to actually go up to like clear the boss. And uh, yeah, that gave us time. In higher elo, I expect this to go a different way though. Like maybe like one person will go up and like four guys will go into auto lane and start to push. Um, but this is solo queue, low elo, so yeah. Um, we have our camp up. Gazler is not doing that though. I'm gonna be soaking here. And there's a gang coming down for him. I'm up here. Uh, trying to defend this tower. I know that my tower is not able to defend me though because it's silenced uh, from the cursed. And we're just gonna be poking here. There's an ultimate coming out from the gas low. Insane damage onto the uh, onto the uh, sergeant hammer there, and she's gonna go down. And that was fast. Like everything I do is like spam, and everything is like super fast. And when I'm killing minions, I try to find an angle where I can hit all the minion. As I keep saying, like when you play like me, you want to find angles uh, and you want to find pocket holes, like on the maps and stuff like that, so you can position better. Um, that's like, that's the like main 101. Like, that's the first thing you got to know about playing like me in order for you to get value out of her. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a fight out here. Uh, Stukov, Stukov got cut. 
I send my orb here. I'm finding an angle right here to attack them from a safe location. A lot of damage going out here. And I've taken some of my talents. So I'm doing insane damage from a safe dis distance here. Backline is in trouble. I'm going to try to help my backline here. I'm hopping off. I don't know how I like unleashed like two different orbs. But it is what it is. Maybe the game bugged a little bit. But... Yeah, we're going to try to get this boss here. We got, we got like two kills. And uh, Gaslo, as you guys can see, right? The Bruiser and the tanks are actually like defending this. They are actually like... Like they're supposed to be giving vision from like top lane. But, you know, three of these... I mean, uh, only three of these guys are up right now. So they can engage here, right? So let your Bruiser, let your tank do like all the uh, physical labor. Like let them up, do the front facing tanky. The face thinking and all that stuff, and you just stay back and just do your thing, right? Um, it's very important that you stay alive because you do like you do like the most damage on your entire as like for your entire team. So it's very important that you stay alive. Uh, taking some tower damage here, trying to get that uh, kill there where it wasn't gonna work, and uh, my team decided to back off. And we're going back. Tracer here pushing mid. And I'm telling my allies that we can destroy mid uh, while this boss pushes. And yeah. There's a gang here coming from the uh, from the top and the bottom. And we want to sandwich this Tracer, but she's too fast. And I think she's going to get away. Yeah, massive damage going to water though, but it's not gonna hit because she's just too fast for us. I'm trying to poke this to see if anybody is there. And yeah, these guys are here. And uh, I wanted my allies to help me defend this. But we were like all split up and stuff, so. Yeah, I'm trying to tell my allies that we can go core if we get tributes, and uh, yeah, enemies had a uh, stitches though, and stitches is like super annoying. So that's just one of the reasons why we're not gonna be able to go core because like stitches is like doing everything, and I'm on an old team there. I toss my orb right into an ultimate. They get a reset from that kill there on the uh, stitches. And I'm just sending massive orbs out there, right? This is the build I'm talking about, the, opti the ultimate build where you can like stand like miles away and like just kill people for like no reason. And I'm going against a uh, tracer here. As you guys can see, I'm always staying close to my ally when I'm going against people like tracer. And She's too far from me, so I focus on the core. I mean, on the uh, keep there. Look at the amount of damage I'm doing to these guys with my orb. Insane damage. I'm trying to go core here and try to end. All right, I'm telling my allies, let's go core. Let's end this. We have uh, Tony. They don't have Tony. I'm doing massive damage to these guys. I'm low on mana, though, as you guys can see. Right there, I'm like super low on mana. Um, that doesn't matter though, because once I hit somebody with my orb, it, I get a reset. Um, and I'm trying to hit Corey, I'm trying to end, but I'm gonna get taken out because my allies are not trying to hit Corey as well. And we're just gonna wipe out. This movement right here kinda tilted me a little bit. Um, this is one of the things I was talking about, like, one of the reasons why I can't climb, because like, when the people are playing bad, I usually like just point it out, and um, it kind of makes them like tilt as well. So, yeah. Mm, that's it. All right. So after this happened, like we backed and all that stuff. Um, that's when we, we start playing Fortsy, right? Um, we're going to try to get this, this boss. 
I mean, they're gonna get this boss because we kind of wiped. And like at this point right now, I'm making like bad decisions. I'm making like bad calls and stuff. And I'm telling my allies to solo call or whatever. Um, core is at 28%, and they got a massive shoot on it. So I don't expect Gaslow to be able to take it out. Um, but yeah. All right, so it's time now uh, for us to get this tribute. And look what I'm doing. I'm mounted, right? And once I saw an opportunity, I started spamming. Started spamming, finding angles, spamming, finding angles. And I'm doing everything fast, dashing, spamming my abilities, my orbs. And I left the brush so that my tank can give me vision and uh yeah i'm pretty much pl trying to play safe there was a hole coming out but it got interrupted and we're able to get this objective here i'm sending massive orbs in the enemy direction and look look at the distance guys like i'm all the way up here and doing damage all the way down here right so that's that i'm telling my allies we should try to get this this core I'm poking everywhere trying to make sure we have vision and stuff. Gaslow got hooked. And he's still still it took a lot of damage though. And there was a huge fight going out here. I wanted to take this siege camp before going towards them. And I'm sending orbs here. The orbs are not region though. And I'm trying to, to hit core. Ah, I took too much damage. But look at that, bro. Core is like so low, right? Look at that, bro. Like, if we had Nazibo here damaging Core before she died, the Core would have been dead, right? This is at 1%. Look at that, right? <laughs> I'm like, at this point, like, I'm like so pissed, bro. Like, I'm like, hit Core. It's, it's not that hard. Hit Core. Like, we had, we had like a big window where we could have ended this match um at how many at 20 minutes right but it's gonna last until like 10 minutes later before 11 minutes later before we can like win this match and i kind of like tunnel vision here um anyways i think if i had my allies here like pushing with me whatever um i would have more body to like block uh my black me i mean to like protect me and stuff what i do damage to core um anyways it is what it is these guys just wiped her so they're gonna go for boss here they're gonna grab this boss and at this point like everybody is like tempted to like end the match um look at that bro like this is so tempting one percent with a massive shield on it and i switch my mode doing damage here sustain dps uh without cost of mana whatsoever um all right at tony like your tony ability is is going to be a lot useful like when you're doing siege and stuff i'm telling my ally to split up so that we can like trick them and stuff and go core uh morad in here is like tilted he want to end a match really bad and uh he's kind of doing some random stuff here and so I split up. I try to end. <laughs> I got cut though. And uh, yeah. I'm <laughs> no, I got killed by the, uh, the core there, bro. Oh my god. This is so crazy. Like, I really wanted to end that match. And so did like my entire teammates. And this is like, an example of like knowing when to end. And like trying to contribute towards ending because if my allies knew that we could have ended the match um, and hit core, we could have ended it um, at that moment. But they didn't do it, so we have to like spend an entire 10 more minutes trying to find a, an opportunity uh, to go core again. I tell my allies to like defend this, and there's gonna be like a gang uh, setup here from the tracer. Uh, try to attack anybody who take this and I'm telling my Marauder not to go to core 
I think I, I think what he was doing was like to make them go back, uh, to like threaten the core and like make them go back and stuff. And my Gaslow here trying to one v one tracer. I'm telling him not to. Like I'm telling my allies to like be patient in a sense, uh, because like anybody can win this, right? Anybody can win this at this time. And Trisha is gonna back here. Uh, she didn't do it though, because she got some mute. Ooh, look at that, bro. Massive poke going into the brush. And Trisha got hit for like 30% of her hit point. And I'm just in the background here. Where am I? Here I am. Doing massive damage. I'm gonna be switching in and out of my laser mode. Doing insane damage, checking brushes and stuff. And just poking. Like, look at that damage, bro. Look at the, look at that orb build damage. Nasty damage going out here. And Morada is here trying to hit core and stuff. And I think he's gonna die because of that, though. And these guys are trying to back, and I'm trying to, like, stop them from backing. And it's crazy. All right, want to grab this uh, objective because of it. And I think Morada is doing a good job, even though it seems like he's beating and like he's doing like the worst thing possible. Um, but this is a low elo, and the trick that he's trying to pull is kind of working because every time he does it, like they just back off entirely. So, yeah. And <laughs> Morada is freaking out. Um, I told my allies to go uh, to go do the boss, and Morada is freaking out. Uh, hold up. I don't know if I did tell them that. I didn't tell them that. Um, Gaslow got killed by Tracer. I don't think that was my call. That was Gaslow's call. All right. I won't lie though. I make I make mistakes, right? I make bad calls and stuff. But I don't think that was that one was mine. So I poked the uh, I poked this, and I'm making. I'm trying to to make them back and they are hitting our boss here and I'm hitting core and I see uh my fail backs and <laughs> I'm poking at the core I'm taking a lot of damage and I'm poking poking I found an opportunity and <laughs> I'm freaking out right now Teresa kill me but yeah like i was like everybody was making crazy uh decisions out here making their own decision and stuff and i'm telling my ally to go with tank and at this point what we're supposed to be doing is grouping up and just having a decent team fight and just rushing for afterwards instead of dying one at a time uh but because i raced to the core here and i started attempted to like end this um, a mid and back, which actually gave us a time, uh, some time to like attack this. Um, Murata is kind of doing the same thing. Anyways, this this is gonna be like everything. Uh, this this is all to it um, for the rest of the match here. Pretty much, it's just us poking at this at the core, making them back to us, and then running away. Trisha is doing some decent damage to the Murata here. He's gonna get cut, and he got he got killed. All right, at this point now, it's kind of getting tiresome. Like we try this, and it doesn't, and it, it isn't working. So, I'm telling my allies now, we just need one good team fight as a team, and uh, we can end this match. And as a response to this, I get insulted. So. Yeah, so I was actually thinking that Moraiden was doing this so that the enemy can come to him, but he was actually trying to end the match. He wasn't doing it as a trick. He was actually trying to end the match by himself. And we can find this out by like the uh, <laughs> by the uh, response that he gave after I told him that we had to uh, team up. And you're gonna get this a lot from like solo cures. Um, they're always gonna react like this, where you're telling them the right thing and stuff like that. So. And I wish.
Marat in here want to defend boss and push core when they get tribute. And uh, yeah. And as you guys can see, like I'm just erasing this boss health with my uh, laser ability at level 20. And this is when this build is useful. I mean, when this ability is useful, when you are like stationary and you are doing like siege damage and stuff and sustain DPS and stuff. And this is what, um, this is why like me is really strong because she can do burst damage and then she can do sustain damage. And as you guys can see here, when the time comes for me to play, I switch into my century mode or whatever, my laser mode, and I just do Kamehameha, and I just clear these waves super fast. And I'm like doing insane numbers here. Uh, where am I? Right, I'm doing some decent number, like I'm doing Gaslow-ish numbers in the, in the, Siege and I'm doing like more than ish number in the in DPS more than been like hitting core and like suicide and pretty much so he has a lot of uh, heroic damage. Um, anyways, I tell my allies to follow ten so that we can do. So Whoa! Look at that, bro! I almost erased that tracer. And look at me where I'm at. I'm all the way in the back here doing insane damage. Switching between my my stationary mode and like my uh, burst DPS mode, and I'm just doing a lot of damage. Just a lot of that. Look at that. Erased, erased. I got a reset and I erased that uh, Marlis. Yeah, I'm like poking around, switching around, and it's it's crazy. It's really crazy. We got a kill on the healer though, so we can get a kill here on the rest of them because they don't have a healer, and. I'm going in there, switching my mode, doing insane damage, and I'm gonna poke at this Valer, uh, Vala here. She's at like 1% hit point, and we are just going in, guys. We are going all the way in. Nothing can stop us right now. Stitches goes down. A lot of damage coming out from here from the core. I have to reposition myself. My fire is uh, trying to attack the Murad in there, but is there already so <laughs> what right you see this you see this right these are the type of people you see in solo queue guys um and this match was so crazy and i said uh, i was gonna put it on youtube um so yeah this is it guys nine kills four deaths uh came out with the most dps in the entire team doing team fight doing that last team fight um i did enough siege damage almost close to uh to gas lows and uh like i'm topping everybody pretty much now uh, tracer here did a lot of damage to Maradin, so she got a lot of uh heroic damage there and it seems she did a lot of siege damage as you guys could have seen she was pushing mid uh, earlier when we got I think when we got the boss or whatever, she was pushing mid. Uh, so she did get a, li um, a lot of uh, siege damage in there. And so, yeah. Anyways, the match lasted long, so everybody have like insane numbers. Um, so this is the build, guys. So you want to go for e as an F after walker, whatsoever you call it. Uh, when you teleport, it costs zero mana. And if Lumi hasn't taken damage in uh, in three seconds, uh, teleport cooldown is reduced. Uh, this means that you can reposition super fast. And if you kill somebody, you get like a reset and you like chase and you want to chase, right? You can teleport and then you get a lot of cooldown on your teleport again and you can teleport even further and uh, cast your ability, right? And as you guys can see here, the passive is that uh, casting teleport causes Lumi Ness um cast of magic missiles to do 10 percent bonus damage right so this is a lot of stuff like in one talent right um this is like a lot of bonuses right so uh this is the best um ability you can take for Lemain at level one and uh what's next the next thing here is uh 
Trim uh Tremon uh Varit, Tremon Varit. I don't know how to say this. Anyways, if Arcane Orb hits an enemy hero after traveling at least 50% of its uh, base range, um, the cooldown is reduced by 5 seconds and mana cuts, I mean, uh, 40 mana is refunded uh, to Lemming. So, this is what I'm talking about, like with uh, positioning and stuff. So, like, this build is all about like positioning, and when you position properly, you get rewards for, of, uh, for it. Right, so if you position, you hit a lot of enemies uh, with your orbs and you get a, a reset, uh, pretty much like a, a really fast cooldown on your orbs and you can send more orbs out and the more orbs you are sending out, the uh, your your mana is, is consistently like being maintained and you can continue to like do burst damage uh, in a continuous format as long as you are hitting people and stuff like that. And this is really good because like uh on maps uh where like you can find a decent angle like you can get a lot of shots off and you can like melt these guys really fast and allow your allies to get picks and stuff and uh this is a really good stuff um and then here it says uh zeus uh vengeance or whatever you call it um increases arcane orb damage um based on the distance that it travel um, by 30% additionally, and it also reduced the cooldown by one second, right? So that's a lot of seconds, right? At about six seconds uh, reduction, and as your orbs travel a little bit of distance, right, you do insane damage, right? Pretty much, like, if you are doing this, if you are meeting the requirements for this, like 50% distance, right, you are also getting value for this, right? So... Um, again, like the further it goes out, the more damage you accumulate. So, yeah, it's a it's a win win situation. And then you have your orbs here. I mean, you have your your ultimate here. Um, your ult, you basically channel a beam, and this beam do one hundred and sixty one thousand six hundred twenty seven. Like at this at this uh time, pretty much. Um, this won't be the, like the the ultimate number pretty much um i mean this is probably like the ultimate num ultimate number uh but like at level 10 or level 20 or whatever like that it might be lower than this than this so yeah um damage over over 2.6 seconds right this year kind of runs out uh but when you get this uh ability at level 20 it kind of cons uh, consistently uh happens Right, and then, right, uh, at level 13, what you want to get is uh, Glass Cannon, right? It increases Lemmy's spell power by 20%, but decrease her maximum health by 15%. 15% is not much at all, uh, but a 20% boost, that's a lot. Um, yeah, that's a huge amount of boost into your damage. Uh, you are sacrificing a little bit of your hit point, uh, and this isn't really a big deal because you are always going to be in the background, uh, in the back line, and you are always going to be positioning yourself safely, and you're going to depend on your allies to like protect you and stuff. And you always want to like check bushes with your missiles and like your orbs before you go into them, and just allow your your DPS, your melee DPS to like check around your like your tank and stuff to like do all the face checking and stuff for you and that with all of that like in check and if you know how to position properly like taking damage uh and like just dying super fast shouldn't be on your mind because if you play like me properly you, you shouldn't be taking damage at all right you'll always be in a safe location and if you have to teleport out of there real quick you can do that uh with the cooldowns and stuff on your teleports uh here at level 16 you have uh, arcane orb and arcane orb Arcane Orb travel 25% faster, I mean, or further, and also increase its maximum uh, damage boost uh, from 566 to 778. Again, this is like at level 25-ish, uh, 24, 25, or 23. Um, so the numbers are kind of bigger than what they, uh, they will be in a normal situation. Uh, be just because this match lasted for like a really long time, um, but yeah, so this here is still a decent boost though. 
It travels even further, which means that you can be in an even safer location. Um, so you don't have to be like face first into like a team fight. Um, you can be all the way in your, in your spawn pretty much and just send out orbs and just kill people for like for free pretty much like you can be doing insane damage for free um mix this up with like a uh, arcane uh icon pro pure power uh basically this one here it, it activates um it's an active active skill um that you have to activate and when you activate this like you cannot use your other abilities uh but in return of it you get like a sustained damage thing um, all of these here are DPS, are burst DPS, and then when you come here, you get like sustained damage, right? Sustained damage. Um, this here is very important because like you can use this in the late game to like clear minion waves and stuff. Um, if you are in Brassex Holdout and you guys have hit level 20 and you guys have like a huge Zerg wave coming towards you guys, uh, you can be stationary and just like just channel this stuff. It's the, it's kind of like Probius all one of his all. And you can just channel this and like do insane damage um, over a period of time, uh, as long as you have it fast, um, active and stuff like that. So uh, I can't stress this out enough. This here is like the, the ultimate limiting bill. Um, again, like you guys are seeing that, like I'm always switching between these modes. Um, I think there's like a 16 second cooldown when you like switch when you get out of the mode to get back into it. Um, so yeah i mean that shouldn't be bad though because like you can always do this like from a safe location and stuff like that so this is the orb built um glass cannon orb uh with mixed teleports and stuff and uh i don't know how to name this build but you know it's called six blade best lane main build so yeah thanks for watching guys um any questions about lane main, ask me uh She's one of my favorite characters. Uh, it's just that, you know, she's a team dependent characters, um, character and she's a position. Uh, she requires you to have a decent knowledge about positioning and like finding angles. And uh, yeah, she's a burst heavy character too. So that's why I like her. Anyways, thanks for watching. I really wanted to make this video. Um, and I'm glad it's out there. So, yeah, enjoy. Peace out.